Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie and if you're new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're back, of course, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing, but this is not any old unboxing. You guys, I did something again. <laughs> Uh, do you know what this is? <sighs> this is a package from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Yes, I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, this just came today and I was like, I have to unbox this as quickly as possible. So, okay. Uh, just in case you didn't know, which is totally possible, uh, I completed a kit from Diamond Painting Deutschland that was kind of my, one of my two major bucket list items for diamond painting. <laughs> and why this was unique was because this is a Josephine Wall kit from this company. And their Josephine wall kits are known for having a lot of colors and being very large. In particular, <laughs> we have another 100 by 75 centimeter kit. And this one has 55 more colors, 50 more colors than my first. 275 colors. I am ridiculously excited. Okay, so here's the image for what this kit is. This is Spirit of Flight. I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting into this and holy cow, I feel like I could about leave this in its package and lift weights with it, which is honestly not saying much because I <laughs> am not terribly strong and muscly to begin with. So uh, Diamond Painting Deutschland does ship their kits in these tubes and then inside a box. This is how both of my kits have arrived from them. Oh my gosh, they gave me candy? Okay. All the drills want to come out first. All the drills, who are we kidding? I bet that's one of three bags. Do we think there are three bags of drills or four? Oh my gosh. Two bags of drills, three bags of drills. Okay, so all that's left in here is the canvas. Okay. Now, I feel like I learned a few things <laughs> after doing my first kit from them. Um, in particular, I inadvertently caused in, I don't know exactly which part did it, but I inadvertently caused a number of rivers and bubbles in my canvas because these particular kits, these Josephine wall kits with all of these colors, the way that their manufacturer does it or the way that they do it, um, it only comes on double-sided adhesive. Diamond Painting Deutschland does have other kits available that, if they're smaller, <laughs> they some of those do come on poured glue. So I want to be really careful with this because I feel like I kind of rushed it the first time, though I see a little bubble there. And my understanding is that with double-sided adhesive, as much as you can sort of let it kind of rest and relax on its own, the better. <laughs> to be totally honest with you. So um, what I'm gonna do before I get into these toolkits, I'm gonna get this set up so that it can kind of relax a little bit on its own and then come back and we'll start going through all the goodies here. So I will be right back. All right, so while we're waiting for this to just kind of sit and relax a little bit more, let me show you what came with this kit. So you are going to get a basic toolkit, a little branding on the bag. And inside the toolkit, we have a runaway squishy. Okay. So we have a sparkly pen with a couple of multi-placers. We also have a pair of pink tweezers that are rounded at the tip that I just lost the guard for. Yeah, okay, it's gone. That's, oh no, there it is. We also have a squishy for your pen, a plate of wax, and a small tray. To be totally honest with you, 
while this basic toolkit is technically everything you would need as a beginner to start out with diamond painting, I really, really hope that as a beginner, this is not your first diamond painting. And that by the time you were to get to a painting like this, that you may have gone ahead and invested in a little bit larger tray, a little bit bigger pen to make it more comfortable to diamond paint with. Um, this is new from last time. They give me a giant bag of candy that I'm absolutely going to hide from my kids. Lots of Haribo brand, which is a German company. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, Deutschland is Germany. And a little, oh, it's a magnet. That's cute. And here's all their contact info. Now, I was chatting a bit with, um, so Nicole and Gilbert Bloom are the owners over there. And I was emailing a bit back and forth, bonus candy, with Gilbert. And he was saying that they're working on setting up the website. It may already be set up this way by the time you see this video that they were working on setting up the website so that you would be able to view it in English if you so choose, like if English is your preferred language to read in. Um, and along with that, they're working on getting it set up so that international customers, like non-German customers uh, or non-European customers can actually check out on the website. Because for right now, um, if you want to order a kit from this company, you, like in my case, I needed to email them and tell them what I wanted and they sent me an invoice. So that's how this one worked. But um, they also included this insert that looks like it's all about just a Josephine Wall exhibit they have going on. So if you're in the UK, there you go. <laughs> now, this all looks very familiar to me in terms of this was included with my first kit. And by the way, if you're interested in seeing that first kit that I did, it was Magical Merry-Go-Round. I can't remember if I mentioned that. I have a whole playlist dedicated to that kit. I'll be sure to link it down in the description below if you'd like to take a look. There's everything from an unboxing to some progress checks <laughs> and then a post review. So one of the things I really appreciate that they include is an inventory sheet. Yes, it is quite long, <laughs> but I actually use this. What I do is I look at, um, this is the number of drills that there are of any particular color on the canvas. And what I actually am going to do when I go to kit up this painting, which by the way, I am going to do a separate video that's all about just the process of me kitting up this painting. But what I'm gonna do ahead of time is look at these numbers and map out what storage containers I want them to go into. It'll save me a lot of time on the other end of things. So they do all say that they come with one pack, but it looks like they all came in Ziploc baggie, so that's <laughs> that makes sense. We have three pages of inventory sheet for these 275 colors. Oh my goodness. Now already, some of these symbols look very familiar to me. Very, very familiar to me. Both this triangle symbol and this Pac-Man symbol were two of the colors that there were the most of in Magical Merry-Go-Round. <laughs> I actually really, really appreciate that um, Diamond Painting Deutschland includes these. These are sticker sheets. So you can take these and apply these stickers to whatever storage containers you're using. The symbols are nice and big and visible <laughs> and visible. So it makes them easier to find when you're scanning to find a particular symbol among 200 plus colors. Now, something that I learned from working on Magical Merry-Go-Round, um, I am really intentional about organizing all of my storage in a way that makes sense to me so that I know, okay, if I need to find a triangle shaped symbol, <laughs> because look, even these two triangle shapes are just a black triangle on a dark blue background. Here, look, there's another one. <laughs> um, I have those grouped together and then I just know like, okay, here's where all my triangle shapes are. What direction is my canvas facing relative to what direction the symbols are? <laughs> and that makes sure that I'm not grabbing an incorrect symbol by mistake because I can sort between all of them. Again, you will see this process when I go through it in a kidding up video but it cracks me up <laughs> because when a company has to come up with 275 different symbols, they have to get creative. <laughs> they really have to get creative. I wonder, one of my favorites that always, yep, there it is, is the gas, the like low fuel symbol. <laughs> We've got like a little bomb, we have like a little castle. Oh my gosh, 
these symbols are so familiar to me. There, there must be a lot of common colors. Though, like I said, this one does have 50-ish more colors than the other kit that I did. But yeah, you know, lots of little familiar symbols. This makes me think of the Pixar lamp from the Pixar movies. What's his name? Lugo? Anyway. <laughs> So these all look really familiar to me. I'm anxious to get a look at the canvas itself and see if the printing is any clearer than it was on mine because there were a couple of symbols that I distinctly remember being a little faded and I had to get used to being able to tell like which symbol is which. Now, here are all the drills. Uh, how do I wanna do this? Um, let's take a quick look at the canvas first. Then I think we'll come back to the drills. I think that'll be easiest. So you can see that over here, they have actually put a legend. <laughs> to be totally honest with you, I feel like this just adds some un unnecessary bulk. I think I'm going to cut this off. It really just, I was over it with my last kit. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this off and then maybe use just like a liquid stitch or like a surge protector, whatever it's called, not surge protector. Something so that it's not gonna then fray, but just trying to minimize the amount of like space that this takes up because this is massive, massive, massive. Before I pull back the cover, I'll do a really quick measurement just to see because I can see the drill field underneath the paper. So let's see if we've got to the very end of my tape. Yep, 100 centimeters on the nose by, that's actually, yeah, 75, that's 75. So it is true to size. I'm having such deja vu. This really is just like my other kit. <laughs> So since this has two sheets of the adhesive paper on top, I'm gonna start with pulling back the one that's here. And with double-sided adhesive, I think you really wanna be kind of slow about how you do this because if you pull too fast, you can actually lift the glue off the canvas. Um, which worst case scenario is <laughs> you pull the glue off and you have to put it back down um, or you have to replace it. But I also am thinking if I pull it back slowly, maybe I'm not going to cause bubbles and rivers like I had in the past. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> All right, so we have one section down. <laughs> Let me do the bottom half and you guys just admire it. Okay. Here, let me pull this just a little bit further so we can get as much of her in frame as possible. Oh my goodness. This is an absolutely stunning rainbow of color here. Here, let me see if I can get rid of some of that glare for us. See if that'll help just a little bit. But, oh my gosh, you guys. Ah. <laughs> now I am really, really glad that I decided to go very slowly with peeling that back because I'm looking at this and it looks pristine. It looks absolutely pristine. I don't see any rivers or bubbles in the adhesive and my plan, because I think the other way that I managed to do some damage was I had tried loosely rolling my last canvas back up when I was in between sessions working on it. My plan for this is that this is not going to get rolled back up at all and that it's gonna be hung flat in the same spot that I hung my last project when I was working on it. I'm gonna hang it flat so that hopefully it's not going to develop any bubbles or rivers and it's just, it's gonna be flat. This is so beautiful. 
I am so excited. <laughs> and this whole thing is not even in frame. I will try to take a picture for you so that you can see this absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I'll also insert a picture of the original artwork so you can take a look at that as well. Now, this was a piece that I've actually seen completed before, and I really, really loved the rendering and the finished effect. So I had been watching for this to restock. I'd actually been messaging with Gilbert, um, one of the co-owners, and he knew that I was waiting for this to come back in stock. So as soon as it came back in stock, I was messaging him like, I see it's back in stock after a couple of months of waiting. <laughs> and um, they actually, they changed how they do their shipping. And it used to be like when I ordered Magical Mary Go Round, I waited at least a month, maybe closer to two months before I actually got my kit because, well, the pandemic and just because of their shipping method at the time. They've since, since changed to like a DHL Express. So I ordered this on Monday and today is Friday. I had this in five days. So I appreciate that they've made that change. It's really nice that I didn't have to wait a couple of months. Still would have been worth it, but I'm so excited. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to zoom you in into a couple of different parts of the canvas and show you what these symbols look like. So let's take a closer look together. So here's a nice variety of symbols we have going here in various different colors. Just taking a look at what I'm seeing so far, to me, this does look more clearly printed than the one that I had worked on. It's even a little bit clearer in person than it's showing in camera because I have you zoomed in a bit, but like even this Pac-Man, I can see this little Pac-Man has, there you can see, to me, I can see how he has a little tiny white dot like in the middle of his eye absolutely positive I never saw that particular tiny detail on my last canvas with that symbol and I had that symbol a lot so I like that let's check another spot though so up here I do see a couple of symbols that I remember being a little tricky to look at before but again when I'm looking at it now these are looking a little bit more clear to me the biggest culprit, and this was the case on Magical Merry-Go-Round as well, is there's this tiny little pyramid shape over here. And it's a really faint white on a dark brown background. And it's just, it's just very faint. So it's still a little bit faint in this case, but it, you know, the shape itself actually looks a little bit more clear than I remember looking on Magical merry go So I'm really happy to see that as well. Okay, so I took a look at a couple other spots on the canvas that aren't quite as easy to show to you, just because I can't get my phone over to them <laughs> as easily. And generally, like overall, I really feel like they have absolutely improved the clarity and the quality of the printing on these canvases. It looks sharper to me. It looks like I'm not gonna have much in the way of guessing what these different symbols are. I had some of that on my last kit. I appreciate that Gilbert absolutely meant it because he mentioned to me, and I had even said, um, when he mentioned like, oh, we're improving our printing process to make the symbols more clear because we're hearing that people are having trouble with it. Um, and I had said, well, I really would like to try out one of your kits once that has the clearer printing on it and this was going to be one of them so once again i just am happy to see that they were being honest about the changes that they made and that they are listening to customer feedback as well so i'm going to go ahead and recover this and we're going to take a look at the drills together so All right, so that is done and everything is laying really flat. I am still debating if I'm going to leave this paper on or replace it with parchment paper or release paper like I had with my last 
Josephine wall kit. Since I'm hanging this flat, I'm planning to work on it pretty quickly. I may leave this on and then just use like a light pad under it to be able to cut along the grids. I don't know, we'll see, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> so as far as the colors go, we do have three bags of drills and they are in DMC order. So I'm not gonna pull all of them out. We're just gonna look at some of the colors. Now, these are in Ziploc baggies, so technically you absolutely could just work out of Ziploc baggies, but to be honest with you, for a long-term project like this, it just works better for my brain if I kit them up into storage containers. Plus, then I'm, you know, not hunting, like I just, I look for the symbol. <laughs> these are done by weight, so, and in my last kit, I did not run out of any colors. I had leftovers in all of my colors, but I did see that my friend Lizette ran out of color, one of her, the colors on her kit. <laughs> so I'll be keeping an eye out on it. Do we have any 310 in this kit? Actually, we do not. Okay. <laughs> We're off to a good start, Diamond Painting Deutschland. I'm looking for some darker colors to take a look at. Just because often the darker color squares are the ones that are more trash prone. The quality on these does look good from what I'm seeing. I don't know that I'm really seeing any trash at the moment, at least in the colors that I'm picking out. Um, this is very consistent with what I remember from Magical Mary Go Round. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at these. Look at that rainbow of colors though. Isn't that pretty? Like if we were to look at all of them together, oh my gosh, the colors in this are going to be so beautiful. I'm really looking forward to that in particular about this kit because I love, love, loved the artwork of Magical Merry-Go-Round, but as it turned out, a lot of those colors were grays and beiges, like a lot. So especially when I saw this one completed, I was like, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that's that's the kind of color palette I'd like to work with. See, there's not even really much in the way of dark colors to look at. Here's 930. Again, just what I'm seeing looks good. I feel like... Okay, so here's the thing for me. I don't know if you've noticed this with your kits, but for me, I have absolutely found that when kits come with the Ziploc baggies, there's something about the process. I just associate kits with Ziploc baggie drills having lots of static, like ridiculous amounts of static. So I definitely remember static when I kitted up Magical Merry-Go-Round and I'll just have some dryer sheets ready. That always works for me. And to be honest, what, I, what I'll do is if they're static in the bags themselves, I'll open up the bag, put a little like half inch square of dryer sheet in there and then just like move it all around and shake it. And then <laughs> the static's gone enough that I can, you know, kit up with it. I've just been showing you lots of like grays and dark colors. So here, let me show you some pretty like pinks and purples <laughs> and greens. Look at these colors. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> And I don't know, maybe you guys think I'm a little nutty, but okay. If you made it this far, I'm about to tell you why I'm actually even more ridiculous than like just me doing a second one of these giant Josephine wall canvases would lead you to believe because fun story <laughs> today. Uh, Diamond Art, is Friday. Diamond Art Club, uh, I knew was gonna have, they had said that they were gonna have six sneak peeks for tomorrow morning's release on Saturday. And they had previewed five of them. And I just had this feeling about the sixth one. And I knew the sixth one, if they do six, usually comes like later in the afternoon on Fridays or mid afternoon Fridays on my, my time zone. Um, and first, <laughs> I got an email notification that this was out for delivery. <laughs> and then an hour or two later, I got like the Instagram notification that's like Diamond Art Club has, you know, put up a new post because yes, I have notifications turned on for that. 
And wouldn't you know it, Diamond Art Club has also licensed this piece of artwork from Josephine Wall. This is common. Josephine Wall is licensed to a few different diamond painting companies. It's completely above board. It's just how she approaches licensing as an artist. So do you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> I was next level excited when I saw that Diamond Art Club got this kit because I am 100% going to get the Diamond Art Club version so that I can do a side-by-side -side comparison with you guys of what these kits look like, both in the like pre-done form like this, where I'm gonna show you all of the drills and the canvas all together, and we'll compare them. And then I'm gonna do both kits. <laughs> Why does this really matter? Because I am so intrigued, and I just cannot resist the idea of taking two wildly different approaches to rendering and colors and comparing them side by side. Maybe I am just really silly, but does anyone else like really love that idea? It's because, so Diamond Painting Deutschland's approach is 275 colors, all the color. It's a really distinct effect. Some people love it. Some people aren't so crazy about it. It's okay. You like what you like. Diamond Art Club's rendering style could not be more opposite. <laughs> I believe that they said that their kit is going to have 60 colors, literally less than a quarter of the number of colors of this kit. It's gonna be about the same size though, which I'm stoked about. Um, and Diamond Art Club also has like a, a rendering style that's very clean lines, like very, it just feels very deliberate. It's hand charted and they've said before, it takes them literal days to hand chart the Josephine Wall kits that they've licensed. And actually they're gonna be limiting <laughs> the number of Josephine Wall kits that they are licensing because it is such a cost prohibitive process for them. But I am ridiculously excited that they licensed this kit as well. And I am absolutely going to try to get my hands on it in the morning to do a side-by-side -side comparison with you guys. I have no idea how long this is going to take. As I'm filming this, I am literally in the middle of hosting an event that I'm trying to give plenty of time and mental margin to. That's my top priority. But I'm also, I know this is probably going to take me a few months, at least. So I kind of want to get started as quickly as I can because my approach to this is I would just with a magical merry-go-round, I would just pull this out in the evenings and work on it for a couple hours and I'd aim to get like one three by three inch section done or three by four inch section done and finish that one in a few months. So we'll see. <laughs> but I'd be so curious to hear what your thoughts are. Are you planning on getting your hands on either the Diamond Art Club version of this or even trying out maybe the Diamond Painting Deutschland version of this, this one? Uh, as of the time of this filming, I believe this is still in stock on the website, and it's worth checking to see that if you don't, um, if you live in the United States, if you are able to just check out through the website instead of having to email them for an invoice. If you do have any questions, be sure to email them because they've been very responsive and helpful with me in the past. Um, and if you go to look at the website and it's only showing up in German, um, I would recommend downloading the browser Google Chrome and it will automatically translate the whole website for you um, into a language of your choice. So for me, English. <laughs> so there's just a little tip for you. I've shared before a little more just about the process of ordering from them. Um, and I feel like I just kind of gave you the snapshot version. But of course, let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to help as well. But I'm excited, you guys. <laughs> Keep your eyes out for the unboxing and comparison of the Diamond Art Club version, because we're going to get into that hopefully in the next week or two. Um, but I can't wait. I cannot wait. I think this is going to be so much fun. This is honestly exactly what I was hoping would happen, that Diamond Art Club would license an image besides the Zodiac images, because I don't personally, like, those aren't my tastes. I don't want to work on that kit twice. <laughs> but this image I absolutely love, and I'm completely okay with doing this image twice, even though it's going to be in two massive sizes. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is this fascinating to you or are you like Katie? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> anyway, 
I hope this was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please consider giving this video a thumbs up before you head on out. And of course, if you're not already subscribed and wanna follow along with my progress on this crazy project of the rest of the year, <laughs> uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I share new videos. It's mostly diamond painting content here, uh, unboxings like this, post reviews, tips and tricks, that sort of thing. So I'd love to have you here. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Hope you have a really good week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.